And here we go. Hello there, thanks for joining me. I am AV Storyteller and this is my Let's Play Sid Meier's Pirates. Thanks for joining me again. Right, we are in the English settlement of St. Mary. Let's have a quick check of our status here. 28 years old, in fair health. We've got a massive crew of 300 who is very happy and this is perfect because recently, recently we came upon the second half of Montalban's hideout map and we've got a name of a town or a city here, Nuva something or other. X marks the spot and also it's in the vicinity of Villa Hermosa but also is the uh, city of the Incas also somewhere in the vicinity of Villa Hermosa. If we have a quick look at the map, Villa Hermosa, we are here, we are here. Villa Hermosa is all the way up here but if we zoom in then this Nuva, I can't quite read the second part of the name and that's as far as I can zoom in. That is that place on the map that we're looking for. That place there. So there's going to be a Cutlass Shallows skull there and then we'll follow that right to Mon uh, Montabal's hideout. Now I, I was thinking about, excuse me, I was thinking about whether or not we should go north and then head uh, head over to the west here, but I think actually I'm going to follow this around and the reason for that is because you sometimes come across the pirate uh, Leonese, like mayonnaise but less creamier and Blackbeard around this area so with fingers crossed we'll uh, get those two pirates and get their treasure and their ship at the same time speaking of ship we have got Flag Galleon that we got from the Marquis uh, a royal sloop and our current ship is the brig, the Revenge of the Nine. So, once we get to his hideout there's going to be a massive land battle. There's something, usually somewhere between 200 and 300 Indian tribesmen guarding his fortress and then we've got a final duel with him before, before we can have our ultimate revenge. So, let's sail away and do this. And there's going to be nothing but Spanish over there, so it might be time to get the Spanish on our side. So we've got some friendly ports, so any pirates, of course, will attack. But maybe even the occasional uh, English, Dutch and French, if we come across them. So let's have a quick check of the map. So we're just going to follow number de Dios. Number 10? Number 11? I can't quite remember. Do, 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 do. So we will pass these targets of opportunity. Fame points of 50. Have you seen that? Oh, here's a good way of maybe getting some, uh, getting on the, the Spanish side. If we talk to the abbot and he's got um, an immigrants mission, then if we send them towards a Spanish place, then it will generate privateers or raiders for a different nationality which is not friendly with the Spanish and we can attack them and that will make the Spanish happy with us. So deliver them to number de Dios. And if we sail away... Oh we've got two Dutch privateers so <laughs> and it's straight in there. So let's attack attack these and uh, get some brownie points with the Spanish. Let's see if we can get him before he fires another round. Just, as, just so we've got some friendly Spanish ports well, as soon as we go further and further west. Oh, he's fast! Well done, lad! The ship is ours! Was that the first Dutch ship I attacked? I can't remember. I'm just thinking that uniform didn't look very familiar. Well done! So, what did she have? A brig? We'll keep that. And there's the other one. We'll attack that. The other shocking. That was a bit of a tough fight, that one, actually, that duel. Oh, that's missed completely. Just 
turn, turn. Oh, I'm fighting against the wind here. I'm going nowhere fast. Ooh, nicely dodge. Right, I'm gonna go straight south here. It's only got six more guns left. Four guns. Oh, and she strikes her colours. Excellent. And another break. Right, let's see if we can um, slip in here then. I have a quick word with the governor. The Spanish capital of Numba de Dios. It's clean and prosperous. Ah, really? Major Ro Robert, come in. English and the greedy Dutch. King will be pleased. Right, so we could get uh, a criminal mission or information on Baron Ramos. Raimondo. Let's accept that. Because she would be a cad, absolutely, no, to, to not accept. Oh, I don't like this song. It's too slow. I, I'm never really good. <laughs> I tend to be better actually at the faster songs. But if I prove myself wrong by doing really well on it, I'll not shed too many tears. <laughs> ah, she's loving life. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Looks like the Spanish governor's having a bit of a heart attack in the corner there. <laughs> oh my god, he got a step wrong. My poor princess, she'd be heartbroken. <laughs> Do 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 do. This is good. This is good. Uh, mixing it up a bit now. I still need to get the the slippers, I believe. <laughs> I definitely got the calfskin boots. I'll need to check my special items. Do 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 do. Surely, surely. Uh, uh, no, oh, deny. Well, I suppose this is best because this way we get a a criminal mission. So, uh, Mr. I Connery wanted for the crown, by the crown for espionage in Cartagena. Where's Cartagena again? Okay, actually, um, yes, just got the calfskin boots. Oh, there's Cartagena. Is it worth popping back there? Mm. More money, keep the crew happy. Mm. Depends how bad the wind is. Lots of food. Good. Right, okay, so we've got a brig, a brig, flag galleon, a royal sloop, and a brig. First of all, let's repair that all. I think I'm going to get rid of the flag galleon because I don't like galleons, they're too slow. I might just keep the two brigs and get rid of the uh, Royal Sloop, but I need to get rid of 33 tons. Okay, so yeah, we'll sell that. Oh, and we'll upgrade. Very nice. Well, let's avoid the cloud if we can, please. So, 
so... We'll go there, get some uh, easy money I think. And then we'll head off and find this Marquis hideout. Oh, treasure ship. Oh, I'm not turning down a treasure ship. Boom! Ooh, amazing. Just get in there before she can open fire again. No one uses the stairs. I'll have your head, sir. Excellent. I'm hoping for a good haul here. That's not too shabby, but we'll uh, we'll sink her. We'll sink her. Take all. Ah. Don't have enough cargo space if we sink her. Okay, so let's use that. And um, yeah, keep going, keep going. I thought that was another treasure ship there. I'm trying to catch some of this wind. There's Cartagena now, just appeared on the map. This is where they won't let me in. Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, you slow ass. Does it look bad? Sailing into a Spanish city with a really badly beaten up treasure ship? Damn, should be fine, should be fine. And it was fine, amazingly. Uh, English and the Dutch. Uh, Dutch brig, yes, I did. Uh, there wasn't really that much on it. Oh, well, why not get another, another one? And then we'll deal with the uh, the criminal in the tavern. Sell the treasure ship. It's all money. And I need that to keep my uh, fast crew happy long enough for me to get them to uh, Villa Hermosa. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's another slow one. Slow sounding one. They're all the same time wise, uh, they're all the same length. Do, 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 do. Within a few seconds. There's not many that many special items left that I really need. I think I still need the uh, Spanish rutter. I can't think of anything else really off the top of my head that I, I really would like. Might be a, a, a barometer that I haven't had yet. So it has a, a, a Spanish sound to it, this song. She hasn't had this much fun in months. She's loving life. <laughs> oh, time touch. Ex Shawshank wanted to buy the crown for blackmail. 
Ooh, Margarito. Oh, that's mildly important, but we'll get that at some point. Okay, so I'm thinking... Shipwright. Repair. Oh, we'll certainly give you some chain. Oh, hit sell there. Oh, sometimes you really want... Are, are you sure you want to sell this? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Cannot believe that. I just hit the wrong thing. Arr. Remarkably flexible. Anyway. That bomb shell. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, I'm definitely not going to keep the treasure gallon, but I need to sell a lot to get rid of it first. Ooh, 44 gold for the spice. Small silver lining. I think I'll keep 80 guns. And 10 months. So if I visit the ship right now... Well, I definitely don't want it. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a blow. But there you go. Tavern. Welcome aboard, mateys. Sure, tell me more, tell me more. Pretty quiet. Right. Yes, he must answer to me. Now with a rapier. Off you go, sir. Oh, he's going down. Do -do. Oh, and it's gone smaller text because he has no uh, items that he wants to offer me. Because <laughs> normally it'd be right across the screen, wouldn't it? 3,000. So let's just quickly check the status. That looks good. That looks good. So uh, I think we're just going to follow it around here and get to uh, Villa Hermosa as soon as possible. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Come on, wind. Now, should I cut it off at a bit of an angle? Yes. It'll go much, much steeper. But this is a... Excellent point of sale for me. Ideally, we're looking for Santa Catalina, I believe it was called. Need to be hidden in roughly a latter direction. I think that's my new telescope coming into a play there, being able to see that far. There's Santa Catalina, that means we're roughly on heading in the right direction. Yeah, I see beaches, batteries, a modest Spanish stronghold. Oh, English! Oh, if they capture this, that would be an English strong post. Let's just hang around and see what happens. <laughs> Cheap upgrades. Oh, that a quick word with the governor. Excellent. I was tempted to stop them to be uh, to get on a good, even uh, a good uh, reputation increase with the Spanish, but having another nationality there in the middle of all that Spanish main is very useful. Ah, so that would be uh, a good dance would be. Special item and an excellent dancer would be Baron Raimondo. Let's do this. Maybe pick up that Spanish rutter I've been uh, got my eye on. Yes, yeah, much more PC one this one. Do, 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 do. Oh, some dancing slippers. Do, 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 do. 
Not in my head trying to keep the beat. This must be a warm embrace and uh, and is <laughs> worthy of some uh, dip. Way! Ooh, hello. Ah, oh, bam, Raimondo. Trinidad and his fast galleon. Cheers, Too good for my own good. Let's go to the tavern. Good practice. Welcome aboard, mateys. Mmm, oh. no, you're okay. Right, so and Don Fernando the second, bound from Santa Galina, a thousand in gold. I uh, could miss that by a country mile. Test. Panama's Sorry. daughter, she's a real beauty and very difficult to get to. You have to go by land to get to Panama. There's no canal in these days. <laughs> Merchant. Ooh, I need more food. Uh, ship right? Ah, that's why that was lagging behind. It didn't have the cotton sails like Revenge the Ninth did. Okay, so... Quick step over the map. Heading Sans Nicholas the Fortress. That sounds good, doesn't it? So... Squeezing between the land and the rocks here. Try and keep an eye out for Leonese or any other pirate. Ooh, let's see if we can get some uh, some privateers <laughs> to attack. Puerto Cabello, Puerto Bello, that's Spanish, so we should get some hostiles ones. Oh, he's fast ship. Nah, nothing spawned. Crew are not a happy bunch at the moment. Picking up some speed now. What's that up ahead? Ooh. Tom's Rest. Let's pop into the pirate and uh, get them to send out the ship that we can attack. Getting a bit of gold and some good rep. Oh, and it's the haven of Leonese. Right, welcome aboard, lads. No, no, thank you. Pretty quiet around here. Where's your parrot? It's in me of the ship. Merchant. Food is becoming an issue. Ship right. Any upgrades? Nope. So what's around here? 
We could try hanging around for Leonie, see if we can spot him. We do one um, quick circumference of Tom's rest and then head on out, I think. There we are. Ooh. Can we attack this war canoe? I'm struggling against the wind. Come on, get in that, get in that. Oh, apparently I crushed it. But let's get some engine crewmen. Ramming speed! Quickly surrenders. Take all, I uh, will sink her. Oh, hello. Leonese. How at you? Now what's he got? A bigger time. Try and slow him down a bit so I can take out some of his crew. Turn. That should be enough. Awesome. You found me at last. <laughs> you missed sir. He's two of mine. And we're starting in the middle of the ship. I think because of the uh, huge advantage we've got with uh, crew. And this is it! Keep her. Let's keep the bigger time. Seven thousand. Very nice. Six thousand seven hundred. And the soldier crew, the fifth most notorious pirate Leonese, has come to an end. Speaking of which, so what am I now? I am fourth. Captain Kidd, Blackbeard, and Henry Morgan. And I'm like, I must admit, I'm, if you're anything like me, when I first was playing this, I was like, Henry Morgan? Who, th who the Henry is Henry Morgan? I know who Blackbeard was. Why isn't Blackbeard number one? Well, um, that was because Blackbeard's like pirate career, like, career lasted just a few years, whereas Henry Morgan lasted like 34 years, and he died peacefully in his sleep as Lieutenant Governor of Jamaica. Yeah, he did pretty well for himself, and yet everyone knows who Blackbeard is, but Henry Morgan... That that invasion fleet that I was mentioning in, in a few episodes ago that came from uh, Plymouth, England, uh, 1654, 
he was on that. Complete disaster. Tried to attack Espanol. Didn't work. They set up shop in uh, Port Royal. Attacked all the treasure fleets. And then he went around and uh, sacked all like these hugely powerful treasure cities, as they were called. So they, they were massively fortified. Made them, and they thought they were like invulnerable. Haha. <laughs> that was their downfall. They didn't expect to attack. And... Uh, basically was slow to react when they were actually under attack and he he managed to take all of them um unfortunately one of the uh treasure cities he he captured the treasure ship managed to escape with it with all the treasure just before uh, he managed to capture the city and everyone thought that he had hidden the treasure and was keeping it for himself and uh yeah he uh, wasn't in his name wasn't worth much at that point in time. He got summoned back to England to see the King Charles II. Could be getting that wrong. And the upshot of it is that he made him governor of Jamaica. <laughs> Lieutenant governor of Jamaica. <laughs> so that's why he's number one. Anyway, uh, look at the time. That's brilliant. Right, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a comment, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you for the next episode where we're going to chase down the marquee, find his hideout, attack it. There will be a massive land battle. I'm looking forward to doing that. We haven't seen a land battle yet, actually. I'm amazed. Actually, it's just never felt right. So I'll hopefully see you then. Until then, take care of yourself. And goodbye for now. Goodbye.